Dang, y'all. I already called in the ancestor, so I'm going to keep going. This is the Monday morning motivational messages. But I was trying to adjust the camera and accidentally turned it off. I already called in the ancestors, so we just going to get started. This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the Monday morning motivational messages. This is for September the 13th through the 18th, 2021. All right, so without further ado, let's see what's coming in for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, the overall energy for water signs, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What's coming in? All right, protection. All right, good. Some of you guys are fertile, 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 okay? And if you don't want to be, then it's a time to use protection. This is also a time where your ancestors are heavily around you. Um, I feel like you guys are heavily protected in the realms right now because you guys are going through some type of transformation. You guys have been doing a lot of the inner work, just taking care of yourselves, remothering yourselves in that empress energy ready to produce there's a need for any new ideas to be kept under wraps simply because you know it's your ideas you want to protect your ideas like it's your baby okay a lot of you guys um your hearts are very tender right now like uh sensitive so again some of you guys could absolutely be pregnant because i i just yeah healing all right protection and healing all right Okay, and then we got life purpose. It's in reverse. All right, so there's this need here, okay? Like I said, you heavily protected in the realms right now. I got to close this. I've never heard this dog bark before, but now it's just going nuts. Okay, so that's much better, guys. So I'm seeing protection here, which is basically like Empress energy. Like I said, it's a need to protect your ideas right now. For some of you guys, you definitely doing like wound healing. I'm getting that with protection. You guys could be um, doing it herbally or what do they call it? Um, holistically or whatever because I'm seeing a lot of green energy here. A lot of you guys are just healing the, the, the chakra system because I'm just seeing willpower here. So it's like, it's like mind over matter for you guys. I feel like... Um, now is the time of, like I said, creativity being cultivated, um, your finances being healed, and you coming into something, like whatever your idea is, like you got some new idea that you meant to protect with all your might, I feel like it's a part of your life purpose. You know, whatever it is that you're thinking about doing, that spirit is asking you to protect right now, and it might have to do with healing, okay? It could be having to do with healing the heart. It could have uh, be having to do with healing the finances. But um, maybe that's something that you're offering, okay? And so this week you are basically cultivating ideas, protecting these ideas that you are pregnant with. And I see that she's holding the world in her hand. So it's like whatever it is that you have to give Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio is something that could transform the world. Okay, I'm definitely getting that some of you guys are earth angels or fairy spirits, okay? But again, it's a lot of abundance and blossoming coming from the mind, which is letting me know that you guys are really, really cultivating ideas at this time. And again, it's like helping you to step into your life purpose. This may even be something that help people um, basically break generational curses is what I'm saying or helping other people that haven't tapped into their life purpose, tapped into their life purpose. And I'm saying that it's taking a lot because maybe you, you got the world you know what I'm saying? On your shoulders, I'm just seeing like you guys deal with a lot of people because in almost every card, I'm getting the world, the world, the world. Like you show the, you show humanity compassion. You protect humanity. You, um, you know, you have the willpower to basically hold up, you know, or uplift. You know what I'm saying? Because I see her like uplifting the world. Okay, so um, that could be your life purpose, and I do feel like whatever it is. That you are basically brewing on the inside. You know what I'm saying? Whatever is like festering on the inside in a positive way for you. I feel like you're getting ready to give birth to something that can really help other people step into their journey. Heal and step into their life purpose. They path, you know. Helping people stay the course. But it's like you can definitely do that through inspiration. When people can see that you have completed something great, it inspires them to stick and stay when it comes to that. So let's get the specific messages for cancer as it pertains to this spread. So I'm getting strength. 
And that may have to do with that willpower. It may take a lot of strength for you guys to uplift the world. You guys may need... Um, you guys may need to be, like, getting rest at this time. I'm also getting king of earth, all right? But, yeah, again, I'm getting this energy of protecting, keeping something a secret. I do get also downloads. Here's your energy, too, Cancer, with the moon, that femininity, that, um, the femininity, the, the intuition, all of this. So, I do feel like, again, like I said, these ideas are being, um, created within the dream space downloads and all of that other stuff and you've been journaling and figuring out how it is that you can take these thoughts that you've come up with during meditation state dream state and everything else and make it something solid in the physical here okay i do feel like this is something that can help people strengthen themselves that can help people have the willpower to actually close out karmic cycles with that number eight there Okay, this could be something that's women empowerment because even though I'm seeing the woman and the lion in here, I'm seeing them as one. I'm seeing them as one person or one energy with, I mean, two energies within a, a individual. So it's like uh, helping people to heal the feminine empowerment energy within, like, you know, being that feminine energy as well as cultivating and, you know... I don't know why that's the only word that could come to my mind when it's like I got a whole the source of words that I can use because I'm kind of tired of that word at this time. Um, but it's like, <sighs> okay, let me just sit with the energy for a second. Okay, so for you feminine energies, this can definitely be like a service, a support group, or something like that to help women embody the energy of feminine fierceness and healing teaching them how to heal themselves healing their emotions healing their intuition healing their womb for a lot of you because the moon and then this protection card is clearly fertility this could even be teaching people how to heal their womb some of you guys can be starting like yoni steaming businesses stuff to that nature but for others of you it's going to actually be something where you give it encouragement and empowerment to the masses okay yeah teaching people to how to be resilient to keep their fight okay to continue to go after their dreams their wishes their wish fulfillment all right okay so let's go ahead and pull a love message for cancer and then an affirmation okay what's coming in for this week for cancer as it pertains to love whether they single couple married transitioning out or in between relationships what's coming in for cancer sun moon rising venus and the north node longing in reverse so some of you guys are getting over somebody protected keeps coming up so i'm telling you something that has ended for you relationship wise with spirits protection because it could have been blocking you from further ascending in your life all right, so it could have been something that started quickly and ended quickly as well. I'm getting, go ahead and get that person forgiveness because it wasn't them. Spirit basically ushered whoever this is out of your life. Um, this person may have addictions um, or the timing just wasn't right. And you was tired of waiting for the timing to be right. And so at this point, it's like you no longer longing for something here like you may still be longing for the for whatever it is that you were searching within the connection but not for this particular person you realize and now like okay yeah let me get this person forgiveness for they know not what they do okay let me go ahead and pull one of these i am hold on okay let's get an i am for cancer Get an I am for cancer. I offer words of good intent. So yes, speaking life into individuals. And I am seeing that blossoming or that transformation in the heart space. So you guys are definitely helping, like I said, um, others around you, whether you know it or not, whether you're doing it as a soul mission or whether people are just gravitated to towards you for your encouraging words. Um, keep going with that because it's like you offer words of good intent. 
it's like you speaking that out you don't understand like how this helps people transform and soar for themselves so it's like you know people they kind of take off you know they they transform you transforms people's lives okay you help people get out of cycles with that okay and it's like you praise the god and the goddess so that's the that's right you praise the masculine and feminine aspects of yourself you praise the dark aspects and the light aspects of yourself okay all right so let's go ahead and move on to pisces All right, so let's see what's coming in for Pisces for this Monday morning motivational message as it pertains to protection, healing, and life purpose. Okay. So water signs, I see like whatever it is that you're trying to do or implement into the world now, you know, it's like, it's like one notch under many things that you have to do because I'm saying that this willpower is... You stand dedicated and no longer putting it off or you stand the course despite like any like obstacles coming in your way. So I'm getting a page of water. So Pisces, some of you guys are actually pregnant. That's your energy, the page of the page of cups. But I'm getting this little girl energy. So you can be some of those divine mothers. You guys may not know. Okay. I feel like the reason why, and this this could be for some people that were having issues with conceiving is what i'm seeing because i'm seeing this womb healing energy and some of you guys may not even know that you're pregnant you've been putting a lot of energy and and time and like actual like what i want to say you've been like you actually been taking the time to heal yourself so whatever this is again like some of y'all could have could have um, been following the teachings of Sacred Woman by Queen Afu, you know, or uh, just period, just studying, you you know, like how is it that I can organically conceive because maybe you didn't want to have to go with artificial insemination. That's not going to be for everybody, but it's some of you guys here that it's like certain things that you was cleaning up in your life. Because y'all was actually meant to bring a divine child in this world. So with this willpower here, this could be certain things that you just stopped doing or started doing in order to help, you know, um, create a more healthy womb, a more healthy growing space for a child. And I feel like it worked. And some of you guys may not even know that you're pregnant or you may not have known and you might be finding out this week, okay? So this is for those of you that actually wanted to be, okay? For others of you, this is a time to protect and heal your own children, all right? It might be time for something something like therapy or whatever, and it might not be in a negative way, but some of you guys can actually have uh, gifted children on y'all hands, you know? And y'all gonna have to invest in these children when it comes down to helping them be who they genuinely are because they might be different, you know, with this page of cups here. This child might be awakened. This child could have come into the world awakened. And again, like I said, they may have special needs or they may have to go to special schools to kind of understand that they are a gifted child, that they are different, you know, messenger of water. Yeah. Messenger of water and page of water. Like you can literally be finding out this week that you are pregnant. And this is something that you could have been really worried about for some of you Pisces that have been unable to conceive, okay? Some of you wanted twins, but I feel like it's gonna be a single child this time. It's like you could have been worried, but it's like all these messengers I'm getting, I'm getting all these doves. So it's like spirit was all around you. Like, you know what? This is your life purpose, it's gonna happen. But this can be for a Pisces that literally has gone above and beyond. You have tried to receive treatment. You have tried to receive fertility um, treatments and stuff like that. And I feel like you've traveled to do so. You spend money to do so. You could have been losing faith and hope. You could have been really nervous. But like I said, it's like divinity all around you basically letting you know um, that you're going to get it. Because this is like it's your divine purpose to carry this child. I feel like if you had a miscarriage in the past, it could have been a little boy. 
now it's looking like a little girl is, is being incarnated all right so let's see what the love energy is for pisces but again you could be getting this message like you could be getting it from the realms first like maybe you're gonna dream about it and like you know the page of cups is always that little the little kid holding the fish and this the kid is actually the fish in here so you might have a fish dream okay all right, so let's see. I mean, of course, that one ain't going to be for everybody because not everybody is in that age range, but it's for the people that needed to hear it, okay? Or you can have Pisces in your chart. Abundance is in reverse. So it's time to think from, from a more positive mindset because I, I don't just see abundance as money. I see abundance as a mindset, you know, attracting what it is that you want. So at this time, it's like it's a need for you to keep an uh, abundant mindset because what you want actually is coming to fruition. I don't feel like you guys know, but I feel like you guys are going to find out. Okay. What's coming in for Pisces? I feel like you guys have to make a decision as it pertains to something, either where you're going to stay, a new job that you might be taking, or if you're going to allow somebody new into your life, which like I said, some of you guys don't know if you... You know, y'all don't know y'all pregnant. And I feel like y'all have y'all boundaries up or boundaries are needed. Okay. And unfortunately, it might be against the person that you actually conceived this child by. You may have recently had to make a decision to either stay or go when it comes down to this person. Yeah, it's like because you no longer feel the same about this individual. For others of you, okay, let me just say this because I just got another download. For those of you that is not about a child, Pisces, this is definitely about somebody coming in with an apology and you needing to have the willpower, okay? You needing to have the willpower to basically turn this person down because this person might be coming in with like a proposal or something. Coming in to tell you that they love you, that they emotional about you, spilling out all their emotions to you. But at the end of the day, I feel like you will be getting on the wrong path by going back to this individual. Okay? And because I get this boundary energy here. And right underneath that is healing in reverse, which is letting me know that you already healed from this individual. And you had to make a decision to walk away from this person because you can't have your abundance with this person. Because this person hinders you from being in your north node. They hinder you from being on your path. Okay? So, let's see. So, Pisces, y'all got two messages because I knew it, it, wasn't just for, it wasn't just about no pregnancy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get an I am for Pisces. All right. So, I advanced through my own abilities. And again, it's like using your intuition. Using your intuition is helping you to be able to move forward here. And it's like you're moving forward with a feather, feather light heart. Like, it's no hard feelings or nothing, but you're already aware that whoever this is that you might have to turn down um, or have to make a decision to walk away from, that you have to have boundaries up with that individual because that person brings a lack of peace into your life. They bring a lot of worry into your life. And you are protected. Like, look at all these doves around this woman. And it's like the representation, the spirit animal, uh, you know, the spiritual meaning of a dove is like divinity. It is like the Holy Spirit. So it's like you are protected by the Holy Spirit from whoever this is that's coming in. For those of you that are not, like, um, newly conceived, and that's the reason why all of this fertility energy is coming up, you know, so, and again, for some of you that's actually meant to conceive a child, it's not with this person. And that's why spirit is trying to keep you away from them. Because they may be trying to interrupt your destiny in that way. Okay? Okay, Scorpio. Let's see what's coming in for y'all for the weekend. I mean, not the weekend vibes, but the Monday morning motivational messages. What's coming in for Pisces? I mean, I'm sorry, Scorpio. Shit. Will of Fortune, jackpot, all right, protect it. Or either you got an idea that's going to bring you to the Will of Fortune or bring the Will of Fortune to you, okay? So protect your ideas because Scorpio, your ideas are very, it's going to bring you fortune. 
you coming to the end of a cycle as it pertains to things and your dreams are getting ready to come true a judgment call has been made the nine of earth is here so here's financial gain on your behalf because you're stepping into your life purpose you guys are implementing new ideas that's definitely gonna wake up the world period okay scorpio your ideas, whatever this creative idea is that you need to protect, that you get ready to give birth to, is going to bring you out of the old cycle into a new cycle, okay? Some of you guys are having uh, needing to have the willpower to kind of stick to yourself right now, be independent, because whatever it is that you're trying to create, it needs to grow on its own before you allow anybody into your life. And I feel like there's specific reasons for that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of you guys can be a healer. Y'all stepping into y'all journey more as a healer. Okay, with the queen of fire in reverse, again, that's why you have to protect yourself and your ideas because you got a jealous ass person around you. And this person is trying, like they want you to be upset. This person probably have got away with a lot of, of mind games and BS. So the thing is, guys, the moral of the story for the water signs is y'all got to keep people out y'all life. It's certain people as y'all going through this change in y'all life that can't come with y'all. We was kind of getting that crab in the barrel energy um, last week, which I really didn't like because I'm like, dang, this supposed to be Monday morning motivational messages. But I see why I was coming out because basically, you know, now it's like willpower. The willpower is to keep these people out your life no matter how much they, oh, girl, remember we go way back. You, you should be able to forgive or... Babe, babe, we've been through so much. We've been through so much and I'm healing from that shit. And y'all, and people need to let y'all go. Okay? And I'm not saying it in the worst way. If y'all want to stay, I don't want to say if y'all want to stay friends with, with old people or if y'all want to stay friends with people y'all used to be with to go ahead and do it because I can't guarantee that y'all going to get this fortune if y'all do that. Because it's like spirit want certain individuals Spirit wants, like those of you that this these messages resonate with, Spirit wants you to have willpower to keep these people out your life. And the reason being is because they could have an effect on your money. Like whoever this person is, it's like they want you to be emotionally upset. And this could be anybody. This could be a person that practices sorcery. This could be a person that's just jealous of you. You know, this could be a person that got low self-esteem, so they want you to have low self-esteem. This can even be a man that's being catty and in his masculine energy. Okay, so, let's see. Whoever it is, it's like, it's an enemy, and that's why you have to have willpower. Like, don't be thinking that people change, like, just because things is better in your life and people claim to change don't mean nothing. Okay, so, Scorpio, you realizing who you on different pages with, and you manifesting in your life who you on the same page with. What else coming in for Scorpio. Or people trying to get on the same page as you so they can come back in your life. It's like detached with love so you could truly uh, see the truth with denial here. Because people going to be trying to come back swearing up and down that they on some new shit or that they sorry for some past mind games and oh they heartbroken. You know somebody is going to come towards you and they could be a family member that tried to play you. So this could be like jealous cousin, sister, mama. Whoever this Queen of Wands is in reverse. But again, it's like that. This person's still in reverse, though. You know what I'm saying? So, and I mean, it could be saying that that's their energy from back in the day. But yeah, it's like stop giving more to people than what they give to you. Especially forgiveness. Because some people be wanting forgiveness when they can't even really give it to you. And self care is at the bottom of the deck. And it's letting me know that, you know, basically you taking care of yourself by staying away from certain individuals. You worried about your energetic health. Your spiritual health. You know what I'm saying? Not just having people in your life. Because sometimes it's like, sometimes let's just be honest. We just allow people back in our life so we don't have to be lonely. But at the end of the day, it's like... You end up being 10 times more lonely than you could have been and feeling played and feeling upset with yourself that you keep giving chances to people that need to be out your life once and for all. Let's get an IM for Scorpio. An IM for Scorpio. Alright, do y'all need an affirmation from a different thing? I follow my own inner guidance. So that's the thing. Like I said, you guys are sitting up here radiating wisdom to the universe. 
to humanity, to people. You got these beautiful ideas that's going to bring you fortune. And so, and you woke. <laughs> Third eye, why they ain't going to open? You already know what's up. You are confident in your own intuition. So there's a need for you to follow that inner guidance. So when it comes down to these people, it's like don't be leading people away from individuals that's keeping them stuck. But you still stand around people that keep you stuck. You know what I'm saying? Basically, follow your own it. Ooh, follow your own advice. Look at that. Uh-huh. We just gone because I don't got time to fix nothing over here. I already waxed on y'all everywhere. So and that's people that don't want you putting them out there. Like it's like don't be telling them that. But yes, I am. I'm gonna tell y'all the truth. As y'all entering this new phase of healing in y'all life and not only just healing y'all inner self. But healing y'all finances, coming up with ideas that's really going to bring a fortune to you, you know, because you actually manifested and, and stay strong and stay resilient in your path no matter how much may have come up against you. You know what I'm saying? So what's coming in for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for Monday morning motivational messages, spirit? What's coming in for... Overall earth signs, okay? I'm getting confidence, okay? So you guys can be getting this spark of confidence. Some of you guys got a makeover over the weekend. That's what I'm seeing here. Got a new wardrobe. Got y'all hair done. Y'all could have changed y'all hair. Got a haircut. Got y'all hair dyed. Let me know if y'all did that. Some of y'all renovating y'all home or some of you guys are buying a new home or moving. And I definitely feel like... um. <laughs> you could have put some type of protection over your home, especially if you just recently moved. And it's like you confident that you got angelic protection all around your home now. Um, I'm definitely seeing that ocean energy with um, the sunflowers around your house. So maybe y'all buy lots of sunflowers. We got strength in reverse here. All right. So I don't know. When I see the strength in reverse, that's definitely uh, a lot of times either temptation or health, okay? So, something here with health. Some of you guys could have just had babies. Some of you guys could have had twins or triplets. And it's like a protection over your home because it's like, again, I'm getting the energy of children. Children being gifted, alright? Okay, for others of you, all right, this might only be for one specific person or it could be for a couple of people, but for some of you, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, somebody could have passed on and left you a home and money, okay? Because I'm getting this confident energy and then I'm getting this prosperity energy and it's like money raining down and it's looking like it's raining down from the heavens, okay? And then I'm getting this home. And then I'm also getting strength in reverse. So it could have even been like a spouse, but this could be like somebody that's older in your family that possibly could have passed because I'm also getting grieving at the bottom of the deck too. So it's like, it's like a whole lot of mixed messages. Like somebody here is feeling weak and they grieving, you know, with the strength in reverse here. Um, but I'm getting home confidence and prosperity. So there could be the energy of, you know, for Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. It's like you know that the protection of whoever, you you confident that whoever is, has passed on and has left you prosperity in a home could possibly, you know, if they, you, 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 you confident that they around you, okay? And I ain't get much sleep, y'all. So sorry if I sound like I'm all over the place. But, um... Again, I told y'all I was about to deliver this at 4 a.m. So that means I didn't go to sleep till 4 a.m. And it's probably like 8 or 9 now. So, yeah, I've been, I didn't get that much rest. Um, but at the same time, these messages will be delivered accurately. It's just that, like I said, I don't know. My speech is just kind of impeding right now. But um, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo... I'm trying to see if there's any other message. Honestly, uh, you guys are going to get individual messages. But this is just, this This has to do with newness coming into your life, your, your, uh, your life, okay? So, again, if it's not for those of you that's been left behind with, like, some type of inheritance to buy a home or left behind with a family heirloom home as well as prosperity, but it's like, 
you know, so you, you and two energies, it could be like a bittersweet energy earth sign where it's like you gaining something, but you losing something. Some of you guys are gaining, gaining, you know, prosperity, but losing a marriage. Some of you guys are gaining prosperity and losing a spouse. Some of you guys are gaining prosperity and losing a, a, a grandparent or something to that extent, grandparents or something like that, you know, but it's definitely something here with angelic energy. Like you confident that if somebody passed on in your life or if they pass on this week, be confident that that person's still around you, you know, and, and be okay because they feel okay. They feel better, especially if this person was in bad health. And for some of you, it could have been parents because I'm getting these, this cub energy. All right. But yeah, this might be a week of grieving, but at the same time, it's like, be okay with it. Because especially if this person was not doing well and they they passed over, they doing well in the spirit now, okay? So, of course, that's not going to be for every earth sign. Y'all messages individually are getting ready to come out now. And again, some of this may be like gaining prosperity through a divorce. It don't have to be through actually losing somebody. But it's like the bittersweet energy could be like, you know, my spouse is like forever out of my life. But, you know, they granted me the house and, you know, they left me some money behind. So I'm good. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to re, I'm going to pick myself back up and I'm going to keep going and I'm going to get myself in shape and all of that. Like, that can be the case for some of y'all too. It don't have to be a death, but with that grieving there, that's why I got that. And it's looking like somebody left an inheritance behind. All right, so let's see what's coming in specifically for Capricorn. Let's see what's coming in specifically for Capricorn. Yeah, a breakup. It's a breakup for you, Capricorn. But you feel confident moving forward because your angels have been telling you that this is the right thing to do. Things could have been distant between you and this person. Maybe you guys fell out of love or maybe at least one of you guys fell out of love. The love wasn't mutual anymore. You know, you could have been losing confidence in yourself if your person was falling out of love with you. Or you just finally given, gaining the confidence to leave. Y'all to six of fire going towards victory okay so out of something out of a loss somebody getting a gain and it's like success is coming out of it some of you guys can absolutely be relocating it don't have to be that you know you you inheriting a home it can be like again you gaining prosperity from something enough to get a new start okay All right, what else is coming in for Capricorn? I mean, y'all might be leaving a relationship or a marriage going right into success or another successful connection because, and shit, somebody might feel mad, bad about leaving you behind because if it's your person that's leaving you behind, maybe you kept a secret that you had money or that you was about to gain prosperity. And you know what's so crazy? Like, I be seeing little skits on YouTube where it's like a partner won divorce. And it's like after that partner uh, asked for a divorce, the other partner will be like, okay, well, I was trying to tell you that um, I won the lottery. You know what I'm saying? So it's like somebody is like getting this, but getting success at the same time. Let's get one more for Cappies. Get one more for Cappies for the Monday morning motivational message. I don't know why this don't want to come out. So let's just pick one, okay? Six of Earth. Okay, so we got two sixes here. Somebody might be going towards like a um a past life soulmate, the star. I'm telling you, somebody is becoming famous. With the six of wands and the star card, somebody is becoming famous. Like somebody got dissed and they about to blow up. And they about to be stable on their own. It's like somebody turning pain into power here is what I'm getting. Because I'm getting grieving and prosperity. So it's like somebody is turning whatever hurt them into prosperity. It's like somebody got their they confidence back. They strength back. They took back their power. They building like some type of foundation for themselves with the home here. 
you know, or somebody is doing something. Somebody could be working from home and being prosperous with that. But I feel like a breakup is what caused this. You know what I'm saying? So somebody is definitely going to be looking back at their ex like, damn, my ex is a star. My ex is a celebrity. Something like that. Okay. With the nine of air and the strength card here. All right, so somebody could actually be coming back around. Like, maybe the person that ditched you, Capricorn, is trying to come back around, you know, because now they see you are a star. They see you standing out. They see you, like, rising above the crowd, getting the attention. And maybe this was something you was inspiring to doing while you was with this person, and now all of a sudden it's successful. All right, let's get some love messages for Capricorn for the week of September 13th through the 18th, 2021. Okay, so we got abundance in reverse again. And I feel like while you gain in abundance or somebody could have left you because you wasn't abundant or because something wasn't taking off, I feel like as soon as they dished you, it started taking off. Now you going towards a faded connection is what I'm seeing here. One that's going to um, bring success. All right, so somebody needed to heal here. That's the reason why this relationship happened. So if you was the person that got this Capricorn, it's because you had to heal your inner confidence and your self-love. That was the obstacle here. But now that, you know what I'm saying, spirit is abstracting this individual from your life that basically, I feel like this person left you and now you about to come into true love and you about to um, overcome obstacles. I feel like you healing off of this. And you gain in prosperity off your healing, okay? All right, so everything happens for a reason, Capricorn. That's what I will say. Let's get y'all I am. Let's get an I am for Capricorn. Let's get an I am for Capricorn. Ooh. I invoke laughter. Ooh, don't tease them now, Capricorn. I mean, it's okay to bask in happiness and stuff like that. But honestly, I feel like the, the roles have reversed. Like somebody might have left you because you was broke. And now this person is watching you become a star. And they, they grieving about it. You know, I give offerings that are genuine. So here's the thing. It's like because you give from the heart. You know, you basically don't judge people for whether they have things or they don't, Capricorn. That's the reason why you win it, why you being granted prosperity, because spirit sees that you are actually humble. You a humble spirit. Okay, so let's get Taurus energy. Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. What's coming in for the Monday morning motivational messages, Spirit? For Taurus. Queen of Earth. Okay. Okay. So we get in Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, feminine energy. Somebody is about to become self-employed here. All right. It's a transformation in somebody's career here. All right. Look, you could have lost a job first. And you could have been holding on to your pennies tight. Now, I feel like you invested whatever you, whatever you had left and unbeknownst to you is getting ready to bring prosperity into your life. Okay? You invested in something. You didn't know how it was going to turn out, but you believed in the unknown. Okay? And I feel like it's been burdensome. I feel like you, you've you been going through a burdensome and very hard time, but things is getting ready to change, Taurus. Okay? Especially if this is a situation where it was like you was trying to get a you was trying to work a job and get a business off the ground. And pretty much there's this energy here where um like maybe something failed here or you lost a job before something else can get off the ground. But I feel like that was the push you needed because I see you being grounded here. I see you being self employed. I see, you know, you transforming out like, of something that really hurt you or really, like, set you back or knocked you off. You could have two or three kids here, but you have transformed. Like, again, I'm getting that same energy of turning your pain into power. So, really, the strength should be in the upright for you, Taurus, because I see you as a very strong individual. You know, you could have a have a child here maybe this child is like bringing all of this change and motivation into your life if not then it's something that you've been wanting to do or like uh like the the odds been up against you ever since you was a kid and i should get ready to change for you because you could be like an innovator 
You could be somebody that's like very innovative and finally you investing in yourself and instead of investing in somebody else's dreams. And I get that some of you guys could have used y'all savings because y'all was confident in whatever it is and y'all ain't know whether it was going to work out or not and it is because prosperity is here, baby. It's here at the bottom of the deck. All right. You could have been thinking that you was about to lose it all, but you about to gain it all because you have faith in yourself and in the universe. Wow. Taurus, y'all was beautiful. All right, let's get the love energy coming in for Taurus this week. You are safe and divinely guided. Self-care is in reverse. Okay, so here's the thing. With the self-care being in reverse, um, there's a need for you to clear your energy and focus or you have cleared your energy of other individuals and it may have hurt, but I feel like it's causing a transformation. All right, y'all don't dismiss the red flags because somebody coming back around all right, and there's a need that you for you to accept that everything happened for a reason. Like, don't be bitter about the past. Don't be bitter. And I don't think you are. I don't think you're bitter. I feel like you're better, Taurus. You know what I'm saying? Because even if people didn't believe in you, you believed in yourself and you making stuff work and happen for you. Okay, so let's see. I got to put this back in reverse because I don't know what's coming out for Virgo. So let's go to Virgo. Okay, let's see what's going on for Virgo. coming in for Virgo because I'm seeing confidence, home, strength and reverse and prosperity at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So somebody feeling confident because of their prosperity. Maybe you got a new home, but I don't know why the strength and reverse here. Like the strength and reverse is like the main contradictory card here. And that's why I had to start digging at the bottom of the deck to see that for some of y'all it was grief behind this prosperity. You know what I'm saying? So let's see what's going on. Virgo. What's coming in for Virgo? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Okay, so we're getting the Seven of Earth. Yes, you guys are investing. Maybe it's a long overdue, like, for you to receive this. It's like you had to get confident about your manifestations so you guys could be moving into a home right now and glad that it's happening because maybe you've been waiting for this to happen since, like, July is what I'm getting here. Or for some of you the past seven months, maybe you've been trying to buy a home, purchase a home, and now you're feeling like hella confident because you got enough money. You know, maybe some uh, a windfall of money came in for you guys. Let's get some more messages for Virgo. All right, the Queen of Fire is here. It's in reverse again, guys. So I don't know what's going on. For some of you, you could have lost somebody as well because sometimes reversals can indicate... Um, Somebody that has passed on. So take it as it resonates, you guys. Um, for some of you, you guys are cat yo, you guys are spell casters and y'all confident in y'all work. Maybe y'all did some type of spell work or ritual to get a home. To get a home, keep a home, have enough money to renovate a home, something to that extent. For others of you, somebody can be weak or weak or tired or sick or something like that because of spell work or something. I ain't trying to say Say it like that, but some we all know the queen of fire in reverse can be like a, a an occultist. She could be a feminine occultist, okay? But at the same time, again, this could be somebody that has passed on. All right, so let's see what's going on. I almost feel like clarifying y'all's because y'all's y'all message kind of crazy. All right, let's get one more. But last week y'all's was crazy too because we was getting something else about jail and all that other stuff. All right, so let's get a message for Virgo. All right, y'all, Ten of Cups. This could be a family member. All right, at the bottom of the deck, we have what? The Eight of Fire. So, yeah, something is rapidly happening here. Rapid movement. Somebody could be moving really quick. Oh, okay, so it's definitely a loss and a gain. All right, I'm getting comp, man. I'm getting a lot of fives here. And then grief. All right, so for some of you, you could be masculine energies or feminine energies, and it's like something that you invested in could have fell through, and now, like, you're getting some type of investment that's helping you move right along, okay? 
I'm definitely getting that. I got to clarify y'all because y'all message really ain't clear. So let's just quickly clarify this because nobody else got a clarification. But uh, Pisces got two messages though. So let's see. Because cause what I kind of get is that somebody can be like leaving somebody. Somebody could be like getting money and leaving somebody. Leaving a family sector or something like that. Or a family member could have actually passed away. Yeah, a mother. Why is the seven? Somebody is secretly investing. Yeah, I keep getting the queen of wands in reverse. And now it's the child. Why is the queen of wands in reverse here? Court. Oh, yeah. This can be that same energy, y'all. I'm not going to lie. Somebody getting some type of custody here. A mother could have passed away. All right. All right, and now like a child is going to go live with a father, honestly, or somebody else in the family, all right? And this child is going to have a beautiful life, but I don't know what happened to the mother. The mother could have passed away some way, somehow, but I feel like it wasn't the best situation, to be honest with you, because it's looking like the, ch the child is get getting like a new leash on life. Like, even though the child is grieving here, I'm getting that... Um, this, this child is going into a new life of prosperity here, all right? And a strong, stable home where they can grow up and be confident, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to the next element, which is fire. Sorry, Air, I'm not going to do y'all last every single last time, but I just don't want to play favoritism towards air signs just because I'm one, okay? So I'll just be trying to keep it fair for people to start taking notice. <laughs> so let's see. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Man, I almost got some messages because my nose itching like crazy. Okay, what's coming in for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node? Okay, well-being, all right, so I'm getting spa energy for some of you. Some of you guys are going somewhere uh, near the equator. I'm getting home again, vacation home possibly, or maybe you guys are moving, relocating closer to the equator where the waters are healing. I've been getting that message for quite some time now. But I'm getting light just illuminating off of somebody. So it's like somebody got healing powers within. But they need to change their environment, fire signs. Some of you need to change your environment or move. Yeah, so that you could be at peace. Some of you guys are moving for your own peace and well-being, okay? This week. Y'all reconciliation. Y'all reconciling with somebody here. In the spirit, perhaps. For some of you, it's not going to be a physical res reconciliation. It might be one in the spirit. If this is somebody that's passed on, it's like they're coming to visit you in the spirit. It's like they're coming in peace, but they may be coming just to let you know. Like, they at, they at rest. They at peace. You know? So, I don't know. This could be a message stemming from... Uh, air, I mean, I'm sorry. Earth signs. So, some of you guys can have earth in y'all chart. This could be the person that passed on, basically visiting y'all to let y'all know, like, they at peace, you know, they wasn't well when they was on this earth, and now, you know, they ascended, because, again, I'm getting this light body, this light energy, okay? And for some of you, if it's you that's sick, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, y'all. I don't want to say that. That sounds so morbid. I don't know why so many people sick. Okay, so I'm also getting that, like, you may be, for some of you, if it's not you, you may be, like, coming back into contact with somebody that you once had in your life, and this person want to make peace because they could be transitioning. They could be trying to tell you, like, you know, it's okay because maybe they haven't been the best lately, but this is, like, I feel like this is this person's light body transitioning, okay, so... 
this person may not be gone yet, but if you like if somebody making contact with you and you haven't heard from them for a long time, um, this person could be telling you like they getting ready to have their home going or they getting ready to go home, okay? Um, and I mean by that I mean like the heavenly kingdom, all right. So once again, it's like until we meet again, energy. But this could be somebody that you've been quite distant from. And they may just be like wanting to make peace with you before they transition. They may be telling you that they in peace. All right. So let's see, y'all. It's kind of a little sadder. Down. I ain't put the love energy for Virgo or the I am. Let me go ahead and do that right quick, y'all. I'm sorry. We'll clarify fire signs in a second, but let's get the love energy for Virgo. Virgo's message was weird and been weird for the past two weeks. Okay, what's the love messages for Virgo for this week? Decisions is being made as it pertains to love. And I was getting somebody possibly moving away from that jealous female. You know, self-care in reverse because somebody realized that something is to their detriment. Yeah, they taking the red flags here. Apology will not be accepted. Somebody is wanting to focus on their work. Somebody could be going celibate. All right. So, yeah, y'all y'all look like y'all going through a breakup, you know, and this could have been a situation that was mostly sexual. Like maybe somebody was able to seduce you constantly, uh, find signs and they're not able to do that anymore. And it's red flags behind this person's behavior. And you taking those red flags. This person could have got you sick or something, Virgo. Like, I don't know. That could be anything, you know. Alright, so let's get an I am for Virgo. Let's get the I am's for Virgo. Ooh, man, my arm is tired. Because <laughs> this is like, I care for the earth. Okay, so Virgo, this is loving people even when they do you wrong. Understanding that your karmics in your life or people that come to bring karma, the snakes, the fakes, everybody got a purpose in your life. So this person also have a purpose in your life even if you didn't quite understand it at that time. I converse with awareness, you know what I'm saying? Maybe this person used to flip off at the mouth uh, and you just try to keep things light just by continuing to invoke laughter or just be the joy and not be so serious here but at the end of the day spirit is saying you know appreciate everybody's position in your life even if they didn't play the most prominent role because even you know when we got to get over certain things that people do to us oh okay okay fire signs also y'all can be recon reconciling with somebody because y'all got to move in with them or something like that all right, so let's see what's going on. All right. <sighs> let's get Aries first. Aries, Leo. Aries, 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 Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, the North Node. For this Monday morning motivational message. messages for Aries. We got the six of earth here. So it's like some type of mutual decision. Okay. A mutual exchange messenger of air. Somebody wants to express some type of truth this week. It's as it pertains to something closing out. A cycle closing out. Somebody moving. I got to see what this magician in reverse is. <laughs> All right, let's get the magician in reverse. Why is this here? Why is the magician in reverse? Something, somebody is like, somebody been abused of magic. I knew it. I knew it. And some, somebody here is going to express the fact that they know all right, somebody has been staying in a home situation for convenience is what I'm getting. It's like a mutual exchange, trying to keep the peace. But I feel like somebody is making a decision to reconcile with someone else. 
they closing out a cycle with somebody that they know is doing magic, abusing magic, and it's causing bad health. All right, so here's the thing. Somebody could have been wanting to go towards a new person. Aries, you could have been wanting to go towards a new person, but you could be married, okay? When I, whenever I see this new person, this new person indicates somebody that wants a new lover, okay? They going towards a new woman or somebody that they newly met. This is like the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is a husband. So you could have been in love with somebody new but married, all right? And so here's the thing. You could have been being impulsive, taking a chance, um, taking a chance or whatever, even though you married because whoever this person is, they definitely could have been like wish fulfillment for you, whoever this person is for you. Now, you had to separate from this individual. You probably got separated through spell work because I see abuse here. Okay, so somebody could have definitely been abusing magic. And again, this could be like them paying a practitioner with the Six of Pentacles because I get like an even exchange. You know what I'm saying? And it could have been just something going on in the home. Like somebody wanted to keep the home together or something. And they wanted to keep the peace within a union. But somebody is leaving a situation for their own well-being because somebody could be getting sick from the spell work that somebody else is doing here. All right, y'all, I'm getting work. Somebody hired somebody to do this with the occupation here. So somebody is moving on because somebody basically got exposed for who they truly are. Divine timing exposes everybody. Everything that happens in the dark gonna eventually come to light. And so somebody been basically trying to keep somebody sick to keep them in a situation with, you know what I'm saying, Aries? And that could be you or that could be the person you're dealing with. But somebody is finding out now. Like some somebody can't keep getting away with um the fact that they doing spell work to keep their partner in the home that spell work is being exposed and somebody is deciding to leave and they expressing that they expressing that like somebody got some type of truth you know a true a message of truth was told and somebody moving far away all right so let's get um the love energy for aries So we getting strictly sexual and honestly, it's like the person could have been doing spell work to separate you from somebody that you was having a sexual connection with. Protected, y'all. But now you protected. You, you took some type of protection bath or you put some type of protection over the home. You could have even got some messages and truth from like a psychic or something. Because I'm definitely getting the energy like, yeah, somebody didn't want somebody to interfere because interference came out in reverse. Somebody was, is in denial that their marriage or their relationship is over. Okay, okay? they're trying to stay in something for convenience is what I'm saying. But somebody has started a sexual connection outside of that, outside of this marriage or connection. It was like a temptation to them, but really the temptation is that this person is like their soulmate. And somebody is reconciling with their soulmate. And it's, it's a long time coming because somebody here has really been abusing the arts, okay? All right, so let's go ahead and see what's coming in for Leo. Okay, I was led to change the deck because the deck was just coming out too. It was taking stuff too long to come out, all right? So maybe the energy got too heavy on there. So we switching decks at this time and we on Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the weekend of September the 10th or September the 13th, I'm sorry, through the 18th. For this Monday morning motivational message spirit, what's coming in for Leos for this Monday morning motivational message? All right, so, wow, okay. Somebody is no longer putting effort into a situation or somebody could be, I'm down, I'm hearing what? <clears throat> Sorry, y'all. Why would we let this thing go? I keep getting that, too. Like, somebody keep on talking about a promise, but at the end of the day, it's like something is no longer in somebody's well-being. I'm getting a shadow side. Like, somebody is determining, determining that something can't work because of somebody's shadow side. It's like somebody has showed the demon within them, literally. Okay? And I'm getting a queen of swords in reverse. Like, somebody, like, threw off the handle. So here you go, Leo. You could be the masculine energy and you leaving behind this feminine energy because you didn't know what all they was about. Honestly, you know, with the moon card and the shadow energy, this person definitely had like hidden intentions, 
hidden motives. And so you decided you don't want to work it out with this person anymore. You want to go get a victory elsewhere where you feel like, yeah, somebody showed their true colors, okay? And honestly, you feel like you have a victory elsewhere with somebody that you have unfinished business with, Leo. So you could be going towards that. I feel like you somebody could have recently lost a job here. It could have even been because of this Queen of Swords in reverse. Like maybe the Queen of Swords was like calling the job, harassing. Let's see what this Eight of Pentacles is in reverse. But somebody really showed their true colors. And it's this Queen of Swords in reverse. And they in a shadow energy right now. So somebody could be moving. Again, reconciling with somebody else. Yeah. I see a masculine energy definitely feeling guilty. That could be you, Leo, with this King of Wands energy. You know, it's something here. You're like, oh, yeah. Oh, it was a masculine energy that was in there. Um, whew, I'll, I'll hear it in a south note, but in a shadow energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe this person was going through some type of divorce or it didn't work out because of some different beliefs. So, somebody definitely moving away from that. Like, the feminine energy is actually moving away from that. And they, they kind of harshly letting it be known. Okay, so it could be the masculine that's trying to step into new energy. Maybe the masculine had to do some type of shadow work or something like that first. So what I'm getting. Let's see what the love energy is for Leo. Let's get the love energy for Leo. For this week. Because I feel like y'all going through a breakup, literally. A breakup and a reconciliation balance. One person is giving too much. That could be something else you realize. Maybe the shadow energy is that this person is a user, Leo. Play hard. You tired of uh, relationships where it's just... This person wasn't taking you serious. They was playing in your face is what I'm getting here. And, like, taking more than they was giving. But at the, at the same time, like... I don't know. Somebody messed up, okay? Somebody want to go back to somebody, okay? So, for some of you, Leo, y'all want to go back to this Queen of Swords. And this Queen of Swords, or again, they could be trying to come back to you. You could be dealing with another fire sign of you, the feminine energy, okay? This connection was faded or whatever. Like, y'all was faded to cross paths with each other. But I feel like the masculine energy could have been a shadow energy here. And the feminine energy could have walked away for their own peace and well-being. And now this person wants to create like a home with you. But I feel like the Queen of Swords in reverse can definitely be expressing um, that that can't happen. That they lost faith in that. And it's because the, they sell the masculine's uh, shadow side. And they no longer want to work on it. Because they feel like they, yeah, some inner work was done. Somebody did shadow work here. Sorry about that, y'all. I know I'm all over the place. But somebody did some inner work here, okay? So the masculine that did the inner work is trying to come back around, but this feminine has already lost faith. Somebody like, I'm not playing with you no more. I'm literally hearing that. I'm not playing with you anymore. Somebody was giving way too much to the connection. Now they don't want to anymore, but they was giving a lot to the connection because somebody was still doing inner work or still needed to. Okay, so let's go ahead and see what the I am is. All right, so this could be happening this week. This is a destined partnership, but it's like, honestly, the feminine energy... I don't know how she gonna be convinced because right now she in this energy like get the F away from me, you know? Let's get an I am for Leo. Ooh. Y'all yeah, honor the light and the dark. <sighs> so somebody needed to get balanced here because I feel like the laughter was taken out of a situation. Like, somebody just could have went too far with the darkness. You know what I'm saying? Being cynical and statistic is kind of what I'm getting here. Because I invoke laughter was in reverse. So, somebody was here taking away all the joy out of a situation being in a shadow energy too much. And yet again, look at this. They dress like burglars. Like, somebody was a killjoy. I respect the property of others. So, it's something about this masculine energy. Like, this masculine energy could have been on some bullshit. Honestly. I am humble is in reverse. So somebody was definitely in their ego here, um, messing with this feminine in the wrong type of way. Now that feminine is like basically cussing this masculine out. But it's like this person has done some type of inner work. Or they need to, you know what I'm saying? Like that could be what she's telling this person. So let's see what's coming in for Saggies.
Somebody need to be happy with themselves. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm kind of getting first. Because I feel like whoever was causing hell in somebody else's life or not, not respecting somebody else's property, it could be home. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe this person disrespected your home. Maybe they showed up acting a fool. You know, they could have been stalking your house. They could have been... I don't know why, but I'm getting giving other people your address. I'm getting a lot of shit. Like, they could have been, like, riding by, just doing stuff. Like, doing... They could even broke into your house, you know, especially if they was like being jealous or something like that. Some for some of you, they could have vandalized your home out of jealousy. All right, so let's see why is Sagittarius? I'm sorry, not why is Sagittarius here, but what is coming in for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the week of September the 13th through the 18th, 2021 spirit? Let's see what's coming in for Saggies. Ooh. Let's just keep on pulling because, oh man, an argument. I'm getting bottoms up, bottoms up. Is this a drunk argument? Because why is it peace and well-being here? Yeah, somebody is being released from a home. Argument. Somebody is telling somebody to get out. Get out. Somebody is tired of somebody foolishness. They want peace. They want their peace and well-being back. I'm seeing a bunch of lies here. But somebody is putting an end to something. Friends owned in someone here is what I'm getting. So Sagittarius, this could be a situation where you were sharing a home with somebody. I feel like it's a lot of lies going on here. So somebody want to release themselves from a situation because somebody out here acting like a typhoon. I don't know what that means. Um, but I don't know. Or buffoon. I don't know what the heck. But yeah, the fool being in reverse. It's like somebody has just been on their worst behavior is kind of what I'm getting here. Um, somebody's maturity level is on a whole nother different level. Like it's a queen in the night here. They going head up. Somebody is basically freeing somebody. Somebody want to be free from someone. Someone might have to uh, get somebody out of jail for doing something foolish. And this person won't even tell them why or how they got in jail. Somebody want their money back too and they ain't going to get it. <laughs> so some, if you had to bail somebody out of jail, Sagittarius, that person ain't giving you that money back. Even if they say, you know, if you come get me, I'm going to get you, you know, if you come get me, I'm going to give you the money back. They not going to give it back. Okay. But I see you like liberating yourself from this person because maybe this person just too much. It's like taking care of a kid in your house. Maybe you telling them like we could stay friends, but I got to, I got to move forward and I know I can do better without you because this person needs to heal. Like, they need to do something with themselves again. Like, they keeping secrets. They not being honest. You know, this person don't know how to follow through with promises that they make. They don't know how to be adult-like. <clears throat> For some of you, it's y'all kids. But you're not letting them disturb your peace no more. Hmm. Let's get the love energy. Yeah, somebody play too much. I got play hard in reverse. All right, so let's get Sagittarius energy, love energy for the week of September. Put the computer away. And so somebody else's excuse might be that you work too hard. Like, that's why they got time to play so much. All right, so awakening in reverse. Like, literally, somebody is sleep, they sheep. This was destined for y'all to be together, but at the same time, you got to release this person because they unapolog unapologetically foolish and impulsive, okay? And they in denial about their own behavior, but it's causing a lack of trust, all right? I'm getting like, that this person is not taking a rejection well because they are your twin flame. They feel like you should just accept them for them, but honestly, it's like causing a lack of peace in your home, and you, you need your peace back, so... That's that. You just making a decision. Like, that's that on that, buddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, either you gonna be either you gonna be my peace or it's gonna be peace out. And that's just that. Okay. All right, so now last but not least, y'all. Last but not least, air signs. Last but not least, air signs. Last but not least, air signs. All right, I don't know why I'm that geek. It better be good while I'm getting that damn geeked up for some reason. Let's see what's coming in. All right, so.
Okay, Holy Divine Spirit, angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. Please use me as a vessel of clear, concise channel messages for Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the week of September the 13th through the 15th, through the 18th, 2021. Nose itching, so I hope this message good, y'all. Let's see. What's coming in from our air signs? What's the overall message for the Monday morning motivational messages? For Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. Whoop! Prosperity, baby! <laughs> it's like I'm just playing, but clarity. All right, so we gaining some type of clarity. I'm getting, like, freedom from some situation. I'm getting enough of no love by um Keisha Keys. I mean, Keisha, Keisha, what's her name? Keisha Cole, my bad. I'm all getting Alicia Keys and Keisha Cole mixed up. All right, so we got prosperity and clarity here, okay? So, again, shit. <laughs> I'm telling you, some type of, um, I, I feel like the clarity when it comes down to this lack of love is helping to propel you forward, which is bringing in prosperity for you because y'all already know how it be. Sometimes spirit will hold up our prosperity. Y'all, we facing some type of truth when it comes down to a love situation. And it ain't just a love situation. It's an inner love situation. You know, especially if this is like a repeat thing that keeps occurring in your life, air signs. If it's like, you know, every time, you know, you think that somebody is genuine and real, they end up being somebody that have a lack of respect or, or have a lack of um, awareness when it comes down to your worth. You know what I'm saying? And I feel like your spirit guides are trying to teach you something. Like, it's time to take your power back, air sign. And this is for masculine and feminine energies. It's like we are what we attract to a certain extent. And like I said, like uh, there's this energy here of, you know, finding this inner peace. Like it's, it's this situation where it's like you had to take a look at the mirror at yourself. She holding that mirror at her core and she looking down in it. Like, what is my truth? Like, what what's on the inside of me? What am I like? What am I reflecting outwardly that's attracting People that have a lack of love or a lack of self-love. And maybe you determine that, like, I need to give myself just a little bit more love. Especially with the expectations that you may have as it pertains to love, air signs. Because we consider ones of the mind and communication. I'm definitely getting financial help. So I feel like the truth of the matter is, it's like you facing the truth of yourself. You know, you could be trying to attune some of those things on the inside of you um, before you try to head towards love. But for right now, a lot of you guys are focusing on the spirit and your prosperity, okay? Um, okay. All right, let's get Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. For the month, uh, yeah, the Monday morning motivational messages. Let's see here. The strength card try to come out. The Knight of Discs in reverse. You getting clarity as to why your money slowed up and stopped Aquarius. You putting an end to something. Like you conquering something here. It's because you balancing the energy within yourself. You showing yourself the self-love at this time. You know, whatever love, whatever um, energy you're not receiving from external energies, it's like you pouring into yourself at this time. Okay? Because some of you guys... With the lovers in reverse and the justice card, it's like you could have chose wrong. You could have chose wrong or somebody else around you have. But you definitely could have chose wrong. I'm getting Gemini and Libra energy here as well. I'm getting Leo energy. So it could be any, any of these energies here. But with the Queen of Cups here, it's like you guys are very watery you know what i'm saying to be air signs like so maybe you guys have a lot of love to give some of you guys can wear your heart on y'all sleeve some of you guys can be healers some of you guys can be intuitive some of you guys can be empathic 
you know, but at the end of the day, it's like finding that happiness within you that you seek outwardly and investing more in that. Because something that you invested in, you could feel like it's a failure. And it could be with an earth sign or a water sign or a Libra or a Gemini, okay? Well, whatever the case is, it's like you are being freed. Like the shackles are being freed from this situation. <clears throat> Some type of truth of the matter is being told here. You could be receiving a message from this person or you could be receiving a download from your spirit, guys. That's telling you the truth about your past. That's revealing the truth. Giving you some type of clarity that's going to free you, set you free. Okay? This could have been somebody that you was once married to or wanted to marry or was married to in the spirit. Because I'm seeing divorce here for a lot of you with the lovers in reverse and the justice in reverse here. A family being broken up. Or something that you invested in with the intention to gain in the family is it's like, I don't know. Somebody here is being strong and freeing themselves from a situation that no longer serves them though. That's what I'm seeing. And because of that, it's like whatever has come to a stop in your life is about to come in. And it's about to rain from the heavens, y'all. I mean, it's about to rain from the heavens. And it's because of the clarity that you gained and the truth that you gained. And, and doing what you have to do to, like, address this truth that's being shared to you. Let's get the love energy for Aquarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the week of September the 13th through the 18th. Spirit, what's coming in for Aquarius? Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Denial. Second chance. So somebody was trying to deny this connection, but now that you got some type of clarity, somebody want to come in and get a second chance. Spirit is saying choose wisely because I feel like there's multiple choices here. For some of you, it's like you could have cut off something that was very new because it was resembling the patterns from something that was happening, occurring in the past. Okay, I'm getting that. I'm getting somebody hacking, watching, stalking. Let's get one more. Ooh, obstacles. So somebody need to heal here. Yeah, that's why something deserves a second chance. Because, again, even if this was a situation where you had already let something from the past go or you could have been waiting on something from the past to come back and that's why you was denying everybody else love, it's like there's a need to actually heal. Again, that could be the truth. Maybe the truth you face in Aquarius is that you got more healing to do. You are mine. I don't even know what that song would say, but that's playing. You are my pride. Yeah, time apart. Yeah. So somebody want a second chance after a time apart, but Spirit is saying don't. You need to put boundaries up. <laughs> Warning and boundaries is coming up here, as well as denial. Somebody may be in denial that something is just over. Okay, and they may be trying to enter, they may see you trying to enter into new connections and trying to stop you or tell you, you know, that what you're saying is not true. But spirit saying that it is, the truth of the matter is within you. Okay, you already know because your spirit guides told you. Okay. I don't know why I feel like I got the two two here. Maybe it's because I can't write it over there. Libra, Summer Rising, Venus in the North Node for the Monday morning motivational messages. Oops, hold on. Let me get uh, an I am for Aquarius. I'm sorry. Let's get an I am for Aquarius. Yep, let's see. I give offerings that are genuine. 
And with the prosperity here and the spirit guides here, I'm telling you, your spirit guides could, I give blessings. Listen, your spirit guides, like, thank you, Aquarius, for all that you do. Because maybe you really give a lot to your ancestors and your spirit guides. You give offering, you give blessing. Now they want to bless you back, okay? And so that's why they're giving you the clarity and prosperity. I communicate with compassion. They appreciate how passionate you are in the heart and all of this watery energy you gave with that with that uh, Queen of Cups energy. So it's like you are bringing in what it is that you deserve through your actions. It's like the realms appreciate you, Aquarius, okay? If nobody else do. All right, let's get Libra energy. Woo. Libra energy. You got the Queen of Swords. So you guys are definitely gaining clarity. Some of you guys are graduating or going back to school. Okay. And you're getting ready to go out into the field and make that money, baby. All right. So whatever y'all went to school with, y'all coming up with an idea. It, it don't have to be that y'all going to work for somebody else. Because I honestly see the Ten of Pentacles is like working for yourself and creating generational wealth. And I'm getting the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck here. Maybe you guys have been like saving y'all money. You know, maybe y'all been working really hard, saving y'all money so that y'all can start a business. And it's gone. Ooh, I heard I'm coming in hot, 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 hot. I'm coming in hot, hot, hot. So you guys got a hot idea. And honestly, I feel like it pertains to something that you already have an education in. You well versed in it, Libra. And it's about to bring in that moolah. And we already got it twice because we already got prosperity here and the Ten of Pentacles. So you guys are about to bring that money in. Whatever this idea is, is is taking y'all, like, it's like y'all knowledge is earning y'all money. So it's already the embodiment of two queens here. You guys could also be collabing with somebody here. Okay, but I'm definitely getting, even if it's solo, you just embodying both energies. And it's all because you stopped fearing something. It's like you got clarity on, you know, the truth of how good you are at something. Whatever this is. It's like, again, it's knowledge that you acquired or something you went to school for. And you stop holding yourself back and oppressing yourself, okay? Keeping yourself trapped. And that's giving you this new opportunity. It's a new new opportunity coming in for y'all, okay? All right. That sounded amazing. Blazing. Y'all coming in hot, hot. Ooh. Okay, what's coming in for love for the leaves? What's coming in for the leaves as it pertains to love? We're gonna take that card that flew. Let's get two more though. Finances. You like love what? I want me by my money, yo. Like I'm just playing. Um, but financial challenges are affecting, are affecting this connection. Not anymore, but that might be other people. <laughs> Somebody don't want to let you go because they, mm, I said I wasn't going to call nobody broke. <laughs> Look, your money looking good, Libra. So I don't know who money challenged, but maybe somebody is feeling kind of um, intimidated by your finances is what I'm seeing here. Okay. So, and that could be why they staying away from you. Maybe they're trying to get their money together. They could be needing to release certain things. Or, you know, they don't want to let you go. But they may be, like, taking a step back while they get their money together. Okay. Time apart. Yeah, somebody distancing themselves so that they can gain clarity. Well, it looks like that clarity going to be gained this week. Okay. Somebody is learning the spiritual lesson in this situation. The attraction you feel is mutual. It's in reverse here. Okay, so again, it's love lost from somebody else. Like, I don't know if that's this person or somebody else. But at the end of the day, I do feel an energy like clinging on to you. But you already learned from that individual. Okay, so let's get Gemini. Let's 
get Gemini. Ooh. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node. Ooh. The Ace of Cups. Y'all coming into love or y'all doing something y'all love to do. Ooh, y'all a leader and y'all love y'all job. Either y'all like a minister, a preacher. Um, you guys can be a, 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 a like a spiritual leader on YouTube. Okay, I'm getting that you guys are getting ready to travel for y'all work. Y'all love what y'all can do. Y'all love what y'all do because y'all can take it anywhere y'all go. Okay, you guys are coming up with new ideas that's going to bring in money for y'all too. You know, I feel like y'all going from like having a penny pinch to really having it to spend. So uh, for some of you that it's not absolutely like religious leading or spiritual leading you could be gaining like some type of uh building like maybe you relocating because you found a building for your business is what i'm getting here but i am truly getting a religious leader here some of y'all is like truly working for the lord okay so with the ace of cups here like i said you pour love into other individuals or you really love what you do and you are protected and safe and divinely guided. Let's get more love messages for Gemini. Oh my God, I didn't get an I am for, for Libra. Libra, if you still here, regret is in reverse and support. Okay, you are supported by the divine is what I'm seeing. Something is definitely like needing time apart here with you guys too. But uh, Gemini, if you guys are separating from a love then it's because um, you are relocating for work for a while, okay? Um, I feel like you're ready to be free and play anyways because I'm getting play hard. All right, y'all. So, uh, Libra, I forgot to do y'all. I'm going to do y'all's after Gemini because since we already in Gemini energy, I just want to keep it flowing. So, let's get an IM for Gemini and then we're going to get one for Libra. Let's get an IM for Gemini spirit. Let's get an IM for Gemini. My, my, you're a hell of a guy. Oh my gosh. Come on. Let's get an IM. All right, I give blessings as well. So by you blessing um, humanity, I feel like the universe is blessing you. That's why you divinely protected and divinely guided. You don't regret any of the lessons that you learned in the past. It says I act respectfully of others because maybe it helped you to gain a sense of respect for not only other people, yeah, for other people because maybe that's the truth you had to face within yourself that you wasn't being respectful to other people. Okay, I speak positively of others. Maybe you wasn't doing that. And maybe now it's like you've adapted the idea of that or you've embodied that uh, quality. I create harmony. Yeah, you coming out more harmonious because all of these cards of like harmony and speaking positive was in reverse, guys. I was having to turn them into upright. So maybe that's the truth that you guys are facing within yourself. And it's like, you don't regret your lessons. Maybe you made mistakes in the past. And I feel like, you know, you're doing whatever whatever it is that you have to do um, to, like, again, learn your lesson, master yourself, and move forward, okay? But you're not regretting nothing. It's kind of like, okay, I'm supported by the universe. Everything happens for a reason. I got to learn my lessons just like everybody else. So let's see. What is the I am for Libra? What is the I am for Libra? Ooh. I honor virtue. I don't know why I always got to read this. I done read this like so many times. But it's speaking to like embodying honesty, temperance, prudence, which is just like modesty. I gotta get the book, y'all. Hold on. But I don't even know. Ooh, I don't even know why I feel like I gotta read out of here because I feel like it's just speaking to you, like basically um honoring your righteousness, like standing, standing firmly in your righteousness is what I'm getting. Virtue is defined as moral excellence, goodness, or righteousness. Yeah. Okay, but this definition alone does not fully encapsulate what living in this ideal mean. It has been said that the four cardinal virtues are temperance, prudence, courage, and justice, okay? So, Libra, that's perfect. Okay, 
four pillars emerging from a strong spiritual foundation that holds the divine astral architect, okay? <sighs> architect of the soul in place. The pillars of virtue can be honored by remembering the call to action. This ideal invokes. I know... Wait, to know means to record in one's memory, but to understand means to blend with the thing and to assimilate it oneself, okay? So that's like you don't just know it by memory. It's like you live it. You breathe it, okay? So, and that's the reason why I like all that prosperity coming in for you. All right, guys. It's been a good one. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy y'all Monday, and I'll check y'all out on the next one. Peace.